Hey, it's me, and it's squishy makeover time. Yay, what episode is this? I never know. I never know until I go to type in the title. Um, 23. This is the 23rd time I've done a squishy makeover. That's crazy. A little while ago, I put up a poll in my community tab, and I basically just asked you guys how you would like me to select the squishies that get made over in this video. Either I choose them myself, or we leave it to the wheel of mystery. And you guys overwhelmingly wanted me to use the wheel. I guess this means you don't trust my judgment. It's fine. No big deal. No, actually I was hoping for that result because I really enjoyed the challenge of doing it this way last time. But um, <laughs> my necklace is twisty. I want the shinies out. Um, I am gonna be filming this a little bit differently than last time because I don't have Jordan here to help me film it. He has this thing called a life. <laughs> I don't know. I am gonna use the exact same wheel that I did last time. And just a reminder, these options on the wheel coordinate with different labels that I have on all of my bins of squishy donations. So let's spin the wheel already. Gosh, this girl talks a lot. Let's, 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 oh my gosh. Let's spin it. Animals! Okay, the wheel has spoken. Let me go get my animal bin. Oh my gosh! <sighs> Here it is. Animal bin. It's big. This is gonna be more awkward. We gotta make it work. Here we go. Ow, ow, uh, uh. Oh, <laughs> look who it is. Not that I know you. But, hi. Um, anyway, it's a little rainbow alpaca. I've gotten so many of these freaking alpaca squishies and I've never decorated one, so I'm actually really excited with this one. Yay! Let's get into squishy roasting. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to poke you in the bunghole. Time for squishy roasting. So I called this a rainbow alpaca, but actually the colors are not in rainbow order, so that's wrong, my mistake. You have every right to be angry. You're the worst and we all hate you. Obviously this squishy has been used. The foam is ripping, cracking, faded, and dirty. The design is cute, but I take issue with this freaking flower. Let me try to explain. It doesn't match. It seems really random. Somehow the addition of it makes the design more boring than if it weren't there at all. What I just said probably makes zero sense. The feet are also kind of weird, but I'm gonna leave that one alone. I do, however, really like the texture of the wool and the little tail. Adorable. So let's get started, shall we? First by by bringing in some extra coarse sandpaper and preparing the surface to get painted. Some minor surgery is gonna be necessary. It's okay. I'm just trimming off some of the messy seams. Sometimes I forget to do this, but it does really help create a more flawless look. Let me just clean up this crap and introducing this ice cream cone. It's a very dirty, cheap squishy. The ice cream scoop has like zero definition. Maybe it's melted ice cream. And there's a creepy hole right on top. Ugh, gross. It's also super tough like instead of trying to remove the flower I'm just gonna cover it up with this cone I'm dissecting the scoop for education much learning. My idea was to give the alpaca a cotton candy theme and make this like a little cone hat, somewhat like I did in one of my create this book drawings. This is a little too big, so let's just, oh, well, now it's way too small. So we're gonna have to do a little reconstruction here. <laughs> Taking some fabric fusion and first gluing the cone back together. You get to do twice the work when you're a moron and then gluing that onto her head, secure that in place, and there, you have a lovely little hat. Once the glue dries, I'm gonna pull that off and inspect. Hmm, something isn't right. I think the problem must be that it's missing a miniature sheep wearing a bow. Oh, look at that! This little squishy is so cute. Not you, this isn't about you right now. I have been waiting for an opportunity to use this and I'm thinking this is perfect. The sheep can ride the alpaca. Does this make any sense? No. Let's just, let, let's, let's do it, okay? First, I'm gonna trim up some of the rough areas. One of its ears is missing. How do we fix that? Simple, just tear off the other one. Earless, yes, but symmetrical. Oop, and we can just dispose of that. Now gluing that on. I got my puppy paint out, and I need to start fixing all these rips and seams. This is always such a good feeling, fixing all these holes and cleaning everything up. All right, all of that has dried, and this is my new custom shape. The only problem is I freaking hate it. 
I think things have gotten slightly out of control here. The cone looks more like a deformed horn. I don't think I've ever had to remove something at this stage. This is gonna have to be a full-out amputation. Oh, oh, what a mess. What a horrific mess. Fortunately, I was able to remove the horn with minimal scarring, but now the flower is exposed again. I'm gonna do what I should have done in the first place and just cut that thing off. I know half of you are gonna be like, oh, I loved the flower, but I'm sorry, I can't look at that. That thing was clearly evil. I love this so much better now. So I'm finally going in with some white matte fabric paint and I'm gonna spread that on as a base coat. Stop staring at me. So this is where it starts to look a little less insane and I'm starting to feel excited because the actual painting portion is right around the corner. Oh, it's here. It's here now. It's out. It's painting now. Even though I ditched the cotton candy cone, I'm still sticking to the cotton candy colors. The theme is just going to be a lot less obvious without the cone, but that is a sacrifice I'm fine with. I'm going to add blue to the bottom. I am leaving an area of white in between because I wanted to keep the design with pure pink and pure blue and not have them blending into each other. And once I'm satisfied with my blending job, I'm going to go in and paint this little parasite. Who remembers the baby seal parasite? They should be parasite pals. What? And now we're going in with the faces and other hairless areas. That sounds weird. I made the face of the alpaca kind of serious since this one's the leader, the one with the direction and the responsibility. And this is just like the neighbor's kid who is just kind of being a bit of a burden, but a cute burden. And here is the final result. The cotton candy theme definitely kind of died and fell apart. This isn't really about cotton candy anymore. It's about friendship and responsibility. I like the face of the alpaca even though it's really simple and the eyes are a bit crooked. She just looks like she's got the weight of the world on her shoulders. It's actually just a baby lamb. Ah! Speaking of, I wanted to arrange a little parasite play date. There it is, lots of fun. These little ones are a lot of responsibility, am I right? Okay. Let's move on. Okay, we're back. Back to the wheel. We're gonna see what it chooses for us next. It chose desserts. Oh, dessert box. In we go. Ah. Oh. So, um, you know, it's a tart. It's a tart. I'm not over the moon thrilled about this selection. This is another one that I've just gotten a million of. I'm just really not sure how to paint this in a way that's gonna make it a lot more interesting than what it already is. I have no idea. Am I gonna be able to figure out an idea for this? I guess I'm gonna have to figure it out today. Okay, yeah, as I said quite eloquently. So, um, you know, it's a tart. This is of course a used squishy, so there are some signs of wear, but it's really not too bad. As for the design, there's nothing that I can complain about specifically, but there's really nothing too exciting either. The shape is nice, the colors are fine. It's a nice, simple little design. Oh, rhyming again. First thing I'm gonna do, caress the bottom of it, and then go ahead and sand the thing. Meanwhile, I was panicking about my lack of idea because I still have no clue what I'm gonna do with this at this point. I'm thinking that it needs more. So these toppings have got to come off. I'm just gonna try to cut as evenly as possible, failing. Great, so now we can maybe put something in that space. How about this dog? You can just stand on there and then you just put this on him like a hat. Oh gosh, that looks stupid. And then I pulled out this very awkward block of a whale. It's just about the only squishy that I could find with a big enough head for the toppings, but oh, it's just so ridiculously dumb. And then that was a consideration also. Finally, I'm pulling out the big guns. This is one of my favorite squishies I've ever been sent, okay? It's so incredibly cute and soft. It matches my nails. I'm desperate at this point so oh i am making some sacrifices here me and all of my dreams are fading I'm just gonna be using the top of this and set it on there. Okay, this has potential. I do wanna trim it down a bit more so that she can really kind of settle into there. I'm gonna slap some glue on there, rubber band all of that into place, and let it dry. Should I keep this cone? Yeah, sure, I'll keep the cone. Okay, and about an hour later, we're ready to tie-dye. <laughs> Just popping off all these rubber bands and the bond doesn't seem very strong. It's, oh, okay. 
Let's try this again. Da -da 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 there. So about the topping, obviously, I mean, that's whack. I'm not, no. But I do want to keep some of this, so I'm just going to cut a few strawberry pieces and haha, -ha, this, which is just a scrap piece of foam. I believe his ears were used as wings for a certain bee. And now I shall make blueberries with his face. So just getting to that. Now, technically, I am still in a self-inflicted strawberry restriction. Is that normal? I said I was going to take a break from using strawberry themes in my art for a little while, but this doesn't count, does it? I'm not making this a full-out strawberry theme. So once I'm done fiddling around with the toppings, I notice it's coming apart again. It really is. Excuse me while I get my life together. Hey, we're back. And now I'm going to attempt to glue on all the little fruits. I was struggling a little bit with getting everything to stick together. I don't know what the issue was. It's not every day that I threaten my squishies with angry grunts. <laughs> Hopefully we can move forward without issue this time, because this has been rough on both of us. The toppings look solid, wonderful, okay, everything's fine. I'm gonna get started sealing in the raw foam so that we can get a nice smooth surface over top of it. Oh my gosh, why? Okay. Okay, this time I'm not messing around. I have no clue why these pieces refuse to stay together. You... You have done everything, okay? You will live in this tart, and you will like it, and that's the end of that battle. And I'm gonna quickly seal those together before any other nonsense goes down. All right, and this is what we've got. Skipping the base coat this time and just getting right into painting. Someone's here. I am changing the crust color to the more typical kind of tart color. I don't need to do anything super crazy with the crust. I mean, there's a bear coming out of it, okay? So in my last squishy makeover where the squishies were chosen by a wheel. I got a boring animal, so I added a dessert item to it to make it more interesting. Nilla was born. This time, I got a boring dessert, so I decided to add an animal to it to make it more interesting. I'm noticing a trend here. <laughs> I'm also noticing my strange fixation with the bottom of this tart. Sorry, it's smooth. Okay, so for the tart filling, I'm just going with the classic color. I believe it's like custard. I've actually never eaten a tart before. I don't think they're that common because I think that they're one of of those things that are pretty difficult to make. I mean, everything seems difficult to me to bake, but you know, wow, that's a sloppy paint job right there. Did I even try to keep that under control? I really do like how keeping the bottom of the ice cream scoop gives a little bit more volume to the filling. Although slight problem, the rest of her body, is that a thing? I don't see how it would fit into the tart. I'm thinking I wanna lighten this brown slightly. So this is me lightening the brown slightly. And this is starting to come together a little bit more. You know, I, I'm seeing it. I'm feeling a little bit happier with it. I'm gonna go ahead and get working on the face, adding the first layer of details. I tried adding some fur on her paws, but it kind of just looked like hairy knuckles. Okay, let's not. I want to give her some big expressive eyes because I'm gonna keep the rest of the face really simple, so I want her eyes to have a decent amount of detail. I'm adding in multiple shades of brown and kind of mixing them together. Boom! They're beautiful! Kind of like a, uh, like a honey, her name's Honey, full name, Honey Sweetie. Oh, the knuckle hair's back, but slightly less caveman this time. And there's her sweet little face. Oh, Honey Sweetie. Finally taking care of this topping. It's been green and creepy for far too long. I wanna paint the topping as if it's like a fruit jam, like a fruit sauce, like a pie filling. What the heck do you call that? I made the blueberries a real bright blue, highly unrealistic, obviously, but I thought it would be a nice pop and contrast with the red. And oh yeah, we gotta fix up this mess, so let me take care of that. Finish up a few little touch-ups here and there, and it's done. Oh, my turntable was acting up. Heck? Kind of ruining the moment. There we go. Okay, so I mean, this is such a huge change. It's hard to even compare the two because it's it's like just a completely different thing now. But I will say I'm really happy with my creation. I honestly just love everything about it. I have zero complaints. It feels simple yet complete. Also, I think that Honey Sweetie is related to Coco Bear. They're both brown bears that choose to live out their lives. Well, maybe it wasn't a choice, but they live inside of food. So that's cool. Okie dokie and Ew, I don't want to say okie dokie. The final selection and spin. <laughs> 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 
Okay, it has selected already used, which is a bin of squishies that I've already used in past makeovers. Whatever squishy I choose is gonna be something that I've already painted before, and I'm gonna have to figure out a new way to paint something I've already painted. <coughs> so this is one of the already used bins. This one's gonna be a little bit easier for me to cheat because it's smaller, so I'm not gonna look at all. I'm just gonna... Okay. This little coffee drink. Wow, wait a second. I did a squishy like this in the very first squishy makeover video. That's weird. What are the odds I would choose one from the original video? But I actually really liked that makeover, so this was gonna be kind of difficult. The pressure's on. Let's do it. Okay, so we've got Squeezy's hot coffee. This one actually has a much cuter design than the one that I used back in the day. I really like the little label on it and the pink whipped cream is a nice touch. Not a huge fan of the neon fuchsia drizzle. I'm not really sure that that works all that well with salmon pink, but hey, that's just an opinion. It seems like the past owner was uh, bothered by the flimsiness of the straw because they did try to reinforce it. I was also really bothered by the straw. I actually ended up cutting it off completely. At least they tried to work with it. But since the foam wasn't sanded, the paint on this came right off. It looks like the straw is still in pretty decent shape. And you know what? It really doesn't bother me now. I think it's really cute. Wow, I've changed. So definitely want to sand this squishy first, including the straw. I am going to reinforce that with some puffy paint and it'll also kind of bring up the size and make it a little bit more proportionate. Let's get painting. I'm going for a light green for the base of the cup. Oh crap, wait, wrong color. I want dark green for the cup. I remember having such a struggle painting this cup the first time because I used to use pure puffy paint, which is really thick and gluey on its own, so I had to apply it with popsicle sticks. But now I use a mixture of puffy paint and matte paint, which can easily be applied with a paintbrush and it definitely gives a much smoother look. For the top, I'm going with a light green, which might seem like a weird choice, but it's because I'm theming this coffee after one of my characters. Three guesses who? Yes, of course, it's Pickle the Dinosaur. I think he's been hanging out with Cousin Derp too much. So obviously we have the same colors going on here. I'm bringing in my circle maker. This was me trying to figure out a cool transition. That ain't it. Since I like the label on the original Squishy, I decided to create my own. I'm gonna paint Pickle on there. And I tell ya, he is such a talented model. There's something wrong when a piece of foam is a better model than I. I am. I know for sure I would have never attempted this level of detail when I first started. That squishy was like my favorite makeover for a long while. It was my best work. It was the most intricate design that I did. I'm bringing in all of the accent colors and adding the colorful polka dots all over the cup just like pickle. And for the top I added different colored drizzle to the edges and I'm kind of on the fence about that detail. Sometimes I really like it and sometimes I feel like it's bordering on too much. I'm sure I'll get mixed opinions from you guys as well, but I did end up keeping it no clue what that was. I'm painting in the coffee, which is somehow miraculously filled higher than the brim of the cup. It's magic. I guess it could be frozen coffee. Nah, it's magic. There's something so fun about theming things after a character. I, I don't do this enough. It's just really fun to try to figure out how to convert different characteristics into a new format. That sounded really dorky, but whatever. To finish it off, I'm going to add some little metallic accents around the label and just dot it around the cup and sure I'll give the coffee a, a few drips why not and here is the before and after I like the original still yes it still looks nice but the new one is definitely more my style I think it came out really cute and playful it's pickle approved because I said so uh, so that's all that matters really although I think somebody may be jealous go away I still really like the original one I mean it's got rainbow in it so I feel like that's kind of an advantage the new one definitely is more detailed and I I think more skillfully done. Just look at the paint and chip. I like both of them. I appreciate both of them in their own ways and la la la. Okay, so here are the three squishies that I painted. This video was just full of struggles, man. I encountered so many issues and had to change things so many times, but I am really glad that I got through it and got these done because I'm really happy with how they all turned out. I hope you guys like them and I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next week. Bye.